Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Seek Show. Today I am going to show you correct way to georeference your images, raster images. Here I will show you different techniques to use when you are doing georeferencing for your images. Okay, let's go to today's lesson but before that please remember to subscribe for my channel and ring the bell button to get the latest notifications. Okay, right here I am going to add my images here. So these are the images. I will add only one image for now. Let's wait till it's loaded. Right? You can see unknown special reference. That means this image, added raster image has no special reference. So I am going to OK for now. Right? Of course, you can check after going to properties, right click and go to properties. Here you can see in the spatial reference, undefined. Spatial reference is also undefined, the same thing. You can see this image has been taken from the Google. That means sometimes uh, Google Earth, you can download high resolution Google Earth images from the Google Earth Pro version software. If you want to see that video, please check the link provided in the description section below this video. Okay, I'm going to add the, another image. I'm going to use spot image, spot satellite image. Right, I'm going to click OK. I'm going to go to these uh, properties. It is also undefined, right? Uh, now I'm going to georeference the downloaded uh, satellite image using this spot image. To do that, I'm going to remove unnecessary tools. You have to have this georeferencing tool. Right click and go to this georeferences, put a tick and enable this georeferencing tool. Right? I'm going to tick both of these layers, enable. You can see. The images are not matching. That means no georeference each other. Right? To correctly overlay these two images, we have to georeference. Right? Okay. You all, you may already have enabled this georeferencing tool. Here, I will show you uh, one simple trick. Suppose, sometimes when you add your images, which is to be georeferenced, layers will show like this. like this right in this manner in this uh, type the layers will show on your arcmap software so what you should do normally you can carry out normal georeferencing procedure but georeferencing tool have given uh, one simple trick you can manually shift by looking at your eye. You can, this is not 100% accurate, but it will make an easy way to do the georeferencing. What you should do, you have to enable your different georeferencing tool. Here you can see a tiny down arrow, right? Uh, click on this down arrow. You can 
select this shift feeder you can shift the layer by clicking and dragging right now you can shift chilo right chilo one jpeg that means uh, this image right or oh, this image if you want to drag this, this spot image you can add here what you should do right click and drop drag and drop right then you can uh, click again you can see images has been overlaid right you can anti and see there are some mm, similar things you can see but it is not perfect another thing another trick another technique that you must use when you doing this your referencing image you have to use this uh, effects toolbar right so this is the uh, your referencing toolbar and this is uh, effects toolbar what you should do so this is a uh, spot 5 image you can swipe you can use the uh, swipe option click on this swipe option you have to enable the effects toolbar here you can use this swipe option then your arrow will be changed like this here click and you can move right you can see the layer is changing i will move from move to top then you can see the effect you can check by doing this the gear referencing is okay or not or similar or not is going well or not right so this swipe effect so i have told you already told two techniques that you must use use this shift option in your referencing toolbar and uh, swipe option in effects layer effects toolbar okay right so this is how you going to g reference this is your g referencing toolbar you have to set your chilau image the image that you have to georeference tick on the related georeference image and add your control points using this icon click on this icon and select very specific geographic features that you can easily identify in the other image also using crossing the road lines and uh, points geographic points like this click on the image I am adding my first control point now I'm going to click the other control this I am going to link this control point with the other image at the same location right I'm going to zoom to layer and so this is the location click now you should be able to see if you correctly your reference the images should be overlaid at the same exact location right so one control point is not sufficient at least you have to add four control points in the image right so you can see this is the location is okay right so i have told you two techniques you should use using this georeferencing procedure one is the shift method and the uh, swipe method right so i'm going to add another control points click on again click on this control point and select another specific geographic location that you can easily identify so for now i'm going to select this location in the image and now i am going to link this location with the spot image that means another uh, image the other image right okay so this is the location i'm going to 
click right now we can zoom to layer right now seems like this perfect no right we can use this swipe technique to check whether it's perfectly matching you can see the lines right it seems like it's okay so you can use this techniques this method to correctly gear reference of any image that you want right hope you saw hope you understood what you should do finally i should tell you that you have to add another two control points that means i told you to use four control points at least to correctly gear reference your image right so i will show you another two control points for now i'm going to add another location from the right side this one this is very specific geographic location that we can easily identify the control points are collinear or not well distributed uh, it's just okay for now so if something go going wrong you can open this uh, table by clicking this one I'm going to click here and delete if you think that your control point is not suitable then you have to open this table view link table and select the control point and delete right okay again I'm clicking this one this is a warning message so I will select another location the control points must be well distributed that means right so where I should choose I will select uh, this location a crossing load I th road I think right and I will zoom to layer same location that I should select I uh, think it should be located here right we can check by using the swipe technique right seems okay right where should where I should my where I should place my fourth location we can is you can't see the location All right you can see another crossing location is located here so i should select my fourth control point here click and untick your image and okay here right seems okay again i'm using the swipe option to check right it's okay i'm going to open the table right you have you can see the total rms error 1.40 1.470 so this is a very good rms error means root mean square error so you should try your total RMS error keep under 3 right remember to check your total RMS error during your gear referencing procedure you can save this one right I'm not going to save for now I'm going to close so this is the way you should gear reference that these are the things that you must know that you must use using your uh, tools gear referencing and uh, this uh, swipe technique in the uh, tool called effects right these two tools are very important when you are doing a georeference right hope you learn something new from this video if this is useful 
please hit a like for this video and share with a person who may need this video to learn your referencing procedure correctly and still you haven't subscribed to my tutorial channel seek show youtube channel please click the subscribe button and ring the bell button click the bell button to get the latest notification if you want to know something new please comment in the comment section i will reply for you please check the description section for other gis tutorials for you and i will be back with another video for you soon till then take care and goodbye